Welcome to the Progressive Automation's product overview videos. Today, we will be going over the PA30, PA31, and PA33 wireless control boxes. These control boxes can be used to control one or more actuators. The PA31 is the base model with two modes of control and a 20 amp limit. The PA33 is the same but has an IP rating of 65. The PA30 is like the 31 as well, but it can handle up to 30 amps. For all boxes, the actuators will move together when you press the buttons, but they will not be synchronized if they experience different loads. First we'll go over the PA31, then the 30, and then the 33. Click the annotations on the screen to jump to the box you want to see. The PA31 comes with a control box, a wiring harness, two remotes, and a mounting pad. To wire the PA31, you take the white wire from the control box and connect it to the red wire of the actuator. Then you take the blue wire and connect it to the black wire of the actuator. Then you take the wiring harness and plug it into the control box. Then you take the red and black wire and apply power. The red wire takes 12 volts and the black wire you attach to ground. Once everything's connected, you can use the buttons on the remote to move the actuator. Right now, it's in momentary control, so the actuator only moves while I'm holding the button. When I release it, it stops. The second mode of control is push to start and push to stop. To change modes, you have to move the jumper inside the control box. To open the control box, remove the four screws that are on the bottom of the box. Before you open the box, make sure your power supply is turned off. Once the four screws are removed, you can lift the cover up. Inside on the circuit board, there are the two jumpers here, S2 and S1. S1 is what we need to change to change the control mode. If it's connected to both of the pins, like so, it'll be in momentary control. If you move it over so it's only connected to one of the pins, then it'll be in push to start, push to stop mode. Once you put it in the setting that you want, you can turn your power supply back on and then by using the buttons on the remote you can move the actuator. So this time it's push to start motion and push to stop and same for the down direction. The PA30 comes with the control box, two actuator wiring harnesses, one power wiring harness, two remotes and one mounting pad. To wire up the actuator you take one of the harnesses and connect the yellow wire to the red wire and the green wire to the black wire. If you use the other harness, then the white wire goes to red and the blue wire goes to black. Once it's connected, you plug it in to the front of the control box. Then you connect the power wiring harness into the other connection point and then you can apply your power. You put 12 volts on the red connector and ground goes to the black connector. Then you can use the buttons on the remote to extend and retract the actuator. Right now it's in push to start and push to stop mode. There's also a momentary control option that you can switch to by adjusting the jumper pin inside of the control box. We'll do that now. Before you open the control box Make sure you turn off the power supply and disconnect the wiring harnesses from the front of the control box. Then, to open it, you need a flathead screwdriver or a knife to lift the tab on the side over the little ridges so that the front panel will come off and then you can pull the circuit board out. The circuit board may be very tightly wedged inside the box so you may need to grip the front with pliers to pull it out. Once it's out, we need to move these little jumpers on the side to change the control method. We're looking at the S1 jumper. If it's connected to one pin, then it'll be in push to start, push to stop mode. If you just move the little black cover over so it's connected to both pins, then it'll be in momentary control. To put the box back together, make sure the circuit board lines up with the top two grooves inside the box, and then it will slide back together and then you can just put the front cover back on and 
click it into place. Once the box has been resealed, reconnect the wiring harnesses to the front. Turn your power supply back on and then you'll be in the other control mode. Now we're in momentary control where you push the button and it moves and as soon as you let go of the button it stops. This happens in both directions. The PA33 comes with a control box with the wiring harness built in, two remotes and a mounting pad. On the wiring harness there's a plug to make connecting and disconnecting the actuator easy. To wire the actuator you attach the red wire to the yellow wire and the green wire to the black wire. Then you can connect the little plug back to the wiring harness. Then you apply your power to the red and black power lines. The red line connects to 12 volts and the black line connects to ground. Once everything's wired up, you can use the buttons on the remote to extend and retract the actuator. Right now, it's in push to start, push to stop mode. You can also change it to momentary control by adjusting the jumper pin inside the box. We'll do that now. To change the control settings on the PA33, you need to open the control box. Before you do so, make sure the power is turned off. To open the box, use a knife or a flathead screwdriver to lift the tab over the ridges. Then the front of the box slides off and the circuit board comes out. There are two small jumpers in the back. To change settings from push to start, push to stop, to momentary control, we're looking at this jumper. If it's off to the side, connected to only one pin, then it's in push to start, push to stop mode. If you move it over, so it's connecting both pins, then it'll be in momentary control. Once you put it in the setting that you want, you just slide the circuit board back in and click the front back on to seal the box. Once the box is sealed back up, you just reconnect the actuator and turn your power back on. Now that it's in momentary control, when you hold the button down, the actuator will move, and when you release it, it'll stop. Same for reverse. This has been our product overview video of the PA30, 31, and 33 wireless control boxes. You can find these products and more at our website, www.progressiveautomations.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-676-6123 or email us at info at progressiveautomations.com. Links to everything shown in this video are in the description down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see our new videos as soon as they are released. Stay tuned for more videos in the coming weeks. This has been a Progressive Automation's product overview video. See you next time.